these guys are traveling from the dwarven mines to linden and back like it's nothing whatever technology they have i need some of that this episode started off pretty good actually i thought it was much better paced at the beginning and then it all <laughs> and then it all fell flat again at the beginning galadriel wasn't so hard-headed <laughs> literally the muscles in her face were relaxed because she was asking for help the power dynamic between Muriel and her were a little bit different. She was like here and Muriel was up here because she needed Muriel's help. But that immediately changed. I don't know what is up with Galadriel's character. She's thousands of years old, but she's so impatient. They're literally making her a hard-headed brute with absolutely no tact. That's literally the antithesis of Galadriel's character. Remember in my first review, I said that Arondir's storyline is the worst one? Actually, I thought it was the most interesting this time. It was one scene though. Arondir with Adar, they were talking. Adar's character seems interesting, but I don't know how much more we're gonna see of him. The scene with Elrond talking to Durin with his dad, that was nice. We got more Disa in this. Disa is honestly one of the best parts of the show. I don't know about that dress with that leg coming out though, like some Angelina Jolie action. That scene in the trailer where she's like singing like an opera singer, that, that was in this episode. And it sounded really good. That singing back the sequence of Arendir, Bronwyn, and Theo running out of the forest from the orcs. Them running away, the arrows flying, and then you have the scenery of the mountains with that, that voice. I thought it looked nice. Galadriel's theme, on the other hand, like, I don't get it, man. How many iterations of this one theme are they going to have? Give more variety to the soundtrack. You don't have to reuse Galadriel's theme in every single shade of the rainbow. The whole reason why people love Tolkien is the world. And the world building in the show is so bad. We're glossing over everything. We're not getting deep into anything. It's literally just surface, shallow level. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. And we're not getting deep into anything. They're just showing and not even showing in some cases, just telling us what's going on. And then we're going, we're moving on. Like it's, I don't know, man. Like the show is not paced and written well. It sucks, man. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What did you guys think about this episode? Hopefully episode five picks up a little bit. We'll see. I'll see you guys then. Take care.